What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing how to complete the Seed Legends quest alongside catching Manaphy and Fionn. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to stay up to date with all of my content. But like I said, today we're rocking out with the Seed Legend side quest, and which is a kind of hard one if you do not know what you're doing, because it is very tricky, very complicated. But once you know what you're doing, it is pretty simple, and you catch yourselves two mythical Pokemon, Fion and Manaphy. So first thing you want to do in order to actually do this side quest is go grab it in Professor Leviton's office. It is on the chalkboard, but you guys cannot obtain it until you defeat the third noble Pokemon, Arcanine, in the Cabal Coastland. So once you do that, you go to the chalkboard, scroll over, and look for the Seed Legends quest and accept it. I already did it, so it's already just chilling in my little missions and request tab over here. So here it is right here. It says the Pokemon that Professor Leviton saw on the ocean might be connected to the Pokemon that appears in the Seed Legends. Then the current objective says solve the, myst the mystery of the Seed Legend and catch the Pokemon that Professor Leviton saw. So in this quest, they really don't give you any information on how to defeat this and how to do this but don't worry your boys got you right here but it's really really cool about this uh quest or what is really cool about this quest is it's really connected back to bdsp brilliant diamond and shine and pearl in candlelave city at the sixth gym in bdsp there is a library and there is a book about the seas legend it tells you exactly how to complete this quest you do not need this game to actually or you do not need bdsp in order to do this quest but that is how you actually figure out how to do this quest. But I got you guys. If you guys just follow this step by step, you guys can complete this quest easily and catch those Pokemon. So the things that you are going to be required with this quest is going to be three Pokemon. And that is going to be one Overquill, two Buizel, and three Mantike. Once you have all three of them in your party, you should be chilling. You should be chilling. should be pretty straightforward from there. But like I said, it's very tricky to actually do this uh, little side quest unless you know what you're doing. Because they give you no information on how to do it. Once you have those three Pokemon, you're going to want to head over to the lovely Cabal Coastland. Most of these Pokemon you can actually find here. Actually, Buizel you can find here. You can find Buizel in the first area. Mantikes you can find on the ocean. And you can also find uh, Quillfish over here on the ocean. And then in order to evolve it in Overquill, you have to use its, uh, its signature move, something Barrage, Bar Barrage in Strong Style 20 times. So once you get all that, you're going to have all these Pokemon ready to rock out. So like back to what I was saying about the Candlelave City in BDSP. There's a library in there. It has a book about the Seed Legends. And it tells you that you need these three Pokemon and to surf through the open gate of the ocean or the gate of the ocean but if you guys look straight out there you got those two little rocks that's the gate of the ocean and it has to be during evening time when like the sun's setting and all that stuff so you're going to want to uh, sleep to the evening time and have all three of these pokemon in your party and go right up to that gate and surf through it and once you do that it's pretty much triggered and you got this side quest almost done almost done so i do not have the base camp set up all the way over there so i'm just gonna take my lovely bird braviary and fly as quickly as i possibly can so we're gonna hit this fly we're gonna get cooking all the way over there so trying to do it as quickly as possible i wonder if braviary would be the quickest or hopping off and maybe going to weird ear here could be a quick little thing but basket legion kind of cooks too so i'm just gonna keep flying over here till my boy runs out of airspace so yeah there we go basket legion gonna come out here and we're just gonna get surfing so yeah, once you get all that stuff done, it's pretty simple, straightforward. But I think this is actually one of the coolest quests ever in Pokemon. Because you do not know what to do unless you read a book in a different game. That is nuts. I think that is super, super cool and very, very dope. So luckily, I saw this online. People were telling me how to do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was going to go off screen and show you guys how to do it in BDSP. But you really don't need BDSP. If you guys want to see like exactly what I'm talking about, just search it up. Search up like BDSP in uh, this game. It's really, really cool. It is really, really cool. But we're going to go over here all the way to the Sands Reach. And like I said, swim through or take your boat. That's what the, the book says. It says take your boat, which our boat is Basque Legion, through the gates as the sun's setting with the three Pokemon in your party. So we have the three Pokemon. The sun is setting. Let's take Basque Legion through. And look at that. Mana Feet is going to make a cool sound. Phew! <laughs> and that is going to trigger. You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifted in the distance. So you hear a boulder shift in distance. If you now look at your map. You can see that a cave open up right here, the Seaside Hollow. Check out that place. Brand new cave we can actually head towards, and that is where Manaphy and Fiona is located, which you can catch and finish up the side quest. But there is one problem with going in on this side quest. These Pokemon can kill you super, super easily. There is three Fionns, which you can actually catch, and one Manaphy. So typically, or technically, you're getting uh, four mythical Pokemon. Three of the same and one of the other, which is really, really cool. But... It's a tough battle. It is a really tough battle. They all have shields. They attack you at all the same time. They always are seeing you. So you got to be ready to dodge, throw items, catch them, 
all that good stuff. So what I recommend with this is save, hard save right before you guys enter the uh, cave. Because the cave should be a little bit down here. Yeah, I have it pinged. Jeans has a ping here. Don't worry, don't worry. But yeah, like I said, one of the coolest side quests ever in Pokemon. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cool on how you do it. Really, really dope. So we make our way to the cave. I'm going to hit that hard save right here, right now. Just so, you know, in case I die. Because chances are, you can die rather quick in here. Just in case I die, I can just hard or uh, hard reset and get going from there. One thing I forgot to mention is sticky globs are very, very good for this mission right here. The Pokemon put up shield, all that good stuff. So using sticky globs to knock them off and distract them allows you to get a shot on their back and catch them as a Pokemon. So now that we have the sticky globs, I went back and grabbed them. We can head into the Seaside Hollow, catch Manaphy, and catch Fionn. Let's get after it. Let's do this. But I absolutely love the side quest. I think it's super, super dope. And I just think it's awesome how you actually get here and get to get these Pokemon. So look at it. We make our way into the Seaside Hollow. My girl Manaphy chilling there. And then her gang pulls up. Three other Fionns. And these guys are no joke. Like I said, you have to save before here. Definitely have to save because these guys might kill you. So we're going to get after it. We're going to try to spread them out right here. They're all going to shoot like water poles. So you better be ready for this. This battle is pretty nutty. Look at them all. They're all just chilling here. So you know what? Got my sticky gobs here once they spread out. And I'm going to switch over to my Pokeballs, and I'm going to hit you with a Pokeball. And, of course, I cannot do that. Come here. Need my Sticky Balls. There you go, right here. Let's hit him with my... Come on. Come on. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. Come here. There you go. Once she gets distracted like that, that's when you hit her with a Pokeball. And is that catching him? Yep, there it is. So once you get distracted like that with the Sticky Gob, then you have a chance to catch it. And there it is, yo. Caught our first Fionn, level 33. These Pokemon really aren't that hard to catch once you get this, once you get this mechanic down. But they are going to shoot a bunch of stuff at you. See, like, you get shot from three different angles. I'm going to hit you up with this. Wait till your stats lower, and then switch to your back. And bop. There we go. Smack up on you, and keep moving on to the next one. Hopefully we catch that one. Let's go. There it is. Manaphy is done. And once you catch Manaphy, the side quest kind of ends. But the other Fionns will still be chilling in the cave. See, there it is. We got more Fionns right here. And their shields are down, which is pretty cool. So, you know, we're going to let him attack, dodge out. And, dude, these things are no joke to be messed with. Throw them sticky gobs at him. They go to things down, and we're going to smack up on her. Chill on me, yo. Chill on me. <laughs> Chill on me. They're just coming straight after me. This one stayed in his Pokeball. We're going to lower stats again. Hit it from him with a back shot. And beautiful. Can we catch that one? Catch it, please. Beautiful. All done. We're going to dip and dodge. And then we are going to go right here and do this last one. Hey! Yo, she just bodied me. She just bodied me for no reason. There it is. Last Fionn. Catch it. Lock it down. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Let's go. We got Manaphy. And we got Fionn in the party. Let's check him out, yo. Let's check him out. Because these guys are spiffy. Looking really good. Two brand new mythical Pokemon for us. Manaphy and Fionn. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yes, sir. So that's how you guys do it. And I believe, are we done with the mission? Or do we have to go talk to Levitin again? I guess we have to talk to Levitin. But you guys can pretty much do that on your own time. Because, you know. This guy was just about catching Manaphy and Fionn. So this quest is done. All you got to do is lock it in and go talk to the live team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.